guys, how's it going? Um, welcome to another vlog. I haven't done a vlog in um, quite a while. Um, ironically, I've been pretty busy during this whole lockdown thing. Um, but yeah, welcome to another vlog. And today I have got some um, new tyres to put on the bike here. Um, they are tubeless tyres, so I'm going to set this up tubeless later on. Um, but first of all, I am going to head out for a bit of a spin on the road this morning um, and then I'll come home and set up the tubeless tires on the bike. I've also got a new kind of GoPro type mount for my Osmo Action. Um, uh, it's one that uh, another blogger, Francis Cade, recommended. Um, the Pro Standard Grill mount. Uh, so it actually goes in your mouth like this. So I'm gonna take it out and have have my Osmo on the bottom there, so I've actually moulded it to my teeth as well, so um, we'll see what the footage comes out like from that. The uh, Covid coronavirus lockdown restrictions have eased a bit, um, so we can now go out on some group rides, so I'm uh, just riding down the road to meet some of the guys from the club and we're going to go for a, um, a spin up to Belfast uh, for coffee and breakfast. Sounds good to me. Is this not the most ridiculous go from mountain you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> stop for uh, stop for brunch at General Merchants. Everybody's going for the savoury option. I'm swearing we need to keep this kit friendly this is for you. Future too. friendly, except me, who's gone for uh, kids, kids menu. The uh, kids menu. <laughs> <laughs> the pink and white marshmallows. <laughs> My uh, new bike has got wet. Thank you for me. I'll be fine. <laughs> Using the disc brakes in anger. Okay. Go 
noisiest rehab on the ride. Eighty-five miles done. The Belfast back, and then an extra little loop around Collybacky to make sure I got the eighty-five and um, got a couple of soakings on the way. It's nice and sunny outside now, but um, yeah, got a couple of fairly heavy downpours um, on the way home. So I will I'll wash the bike later um, and maybe try and get my tubeless tires on later this afternoon. Um, if not today, I'll get them on during the week. Uh, but yeah, for now, I am gonna. Go grab a shower because I'm freezing and soaking wet. Just giving my uh, bike a bit of a clean. Top tip um, if I'm not giving it a full wash, I actually just use baby wipes um, to give it a bit of a wipe down and take the worst of it off. Um, seems to do the job, and if it's good enough for my kid's face, it's definitely all good for my bike. Okay, so I was going to continue this vlog with putting on the tubeless tires onto the bike, but the vlog's already like six and a half minutes long. So I've shot the putting the tubeless tires on, and I will post that in my next vlog. And um, so the tubeless tires are on. See that in the next vlog. But yeah, just to finish this vlog off, um, just want to chat about this little um, GoPro mount that I was telling you about earlier. The um, Pro standard grill mount, which goes in my mouth, like that. The uh, your GoPro or in my case, uh, Osmo Action goes in the bottom there. That's that's the cage from my Osmo Action, um, and it's actually a pretty pretty decent mount. It gives a kind of unique viewpoint. It allows me to kind of shoot down at the bike, shoot in front of me, you know, around. Um, it's pretty good. Actually, it's not that uncomfortable. Um, you can still breathe while you have it in. Um, and it makes the footage seem pretty smooth, which is great. So the stabilization in the camera combined with this in my mouth actually makes the footage pretty stable, which is which is cool. Um, the only thing I, I find it difficult to actually get my angle right. So a lot of the footage in this vlog was from the Osmo Action in the mount. Um, but a lot of the rejected footage that I didn't put, put in the vlog was where the camera ended up pointing straight down and then when I realised I was shooting straight down I adjusted it and ended up shooting straight up. So kind of hard to get the angle right but I guess I'll hopefully get it over time. So yeah, hopefully you'll see more footage from this um, perspective going forward on the bike. Um, that's it for this vlog. If you like these cycling vlogs, um, hit like down below, leave me a comment, ask me any questions. I'd love it if you subscribed um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.